welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be comparing a hydrophobic water beating technology between these two now this is a really should be a real tough one right here guys this is the new finish the better than wax ceramic coating lasts up to 100 car washes versus the mcguire's hybrid ceramic detailer boosts beating protection all right, guys. Now I want to see, like I tell you guys, I don't, I don't really get into how long these products last. I'm going to buy how they beat water when I put them on my vehicle. The minute I put them on, I let it cure maybe two, three minutes, shoot some water on, it, and see how much is swelling the water off the paint. All right, longevity. I don't really worry about that because I reapply it pretty much every time I wash my vehicle. I just reapply the door and stuff. You know, just something to do to me. All right, so let's get it. I'm just testing the water behavior of these two, between these two. This is just a detailer. This is a ceramic coating. But could it be water just as good? Now, like I said, I don't state I don't really get into how long it lasts, two months, three months, six months, and all that kind of stuff. Because, hell, heck, six months from now, we might not even be here. So I'm going by what it does at the moment. All right, so let's hit it. That's all I look for, what it does at the moment. Not six months from now. No, six months from now, we might be gone. <laughs> I know it might sound crazy, but I'm just speaking my mind, telling y'all the truth, man. Six months from now, we might not even be here. Even two months from now, we might not be here. So when it comes to products like this, I want to know what they're going to do the minute I put them on a the panel like y'all just saw me spread up there now wiping it off. That's that's what I want to see what it's going to do. I want to know how it's going to beat the water up now. So, three months from now, six months from now, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't making that much of a difference to me. Look at that gloss, man. Just like when you test these products for gloss. You want to know how much gloss is given when you first put it up there. I ain't worried about gloss is given six months later. You know, I want to know the shine is giving me right then and there. You know, once I finish wiping it in on the panel, I stick my gloss needle to it like this. That's when I want to know, see how much gloss I'm getting. I ain't worried about the gloss six months from now. See, cause I be done put something else on it by the end. All right, so let's move over here to the new finish. Once a year, ceramic coating it doesn't take much of this stuff cause it's a coating. So I'm just gonna spritz a little up here, like you see. And I'm just only testing the water test, water behavior of these two products. I ain't worrying about how it does uh, two and four and six months from now. This is really crazy if you ask me. And where well, I see it, people too lazy to reapply stuff to their vehicle. Maybe they should pay somebody to really detail their car all together. That's what I think. You pay somebody, they'll, they'll, they'll keep it um, coated up for you. They'll put spray wax and all that stuff on it for you. And me, personally, I don't even trust all them coatings and stuff on my car. All them 10H and 9H coatings and all that stuff. Now, what's the downside to some of that stuff? You got a good paint. You don't really need all that crap, really. What's the downside to it? No one ever speak the downside to some of that stuff, though. Okay, that's wiped all in. That's the new finish ceramic coating. Now, in this video, I'm only looking for the hydrophobia of these two products. Which one I'm going to be water the best? Is it going to be about the same, tie, or one going to win? All right. Now, that being said, in general speaking, the new finish, better than wax ceramic coating, should last longer. If it lasts 100 car washes, it should. It's a ceramic coating. All right. The hybrid ceramic detail, on the other hand, may last a couple weeks, month, two months. Doesn't matter to me. In this case, I'm only going by how it beats water at the moment I apply it. You know, 
two months from now, I be came behind it with some Fuso coat. You know, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, so let's go ahead and water test this junk. See what's going on. Gonna give us the most beating water behavior. All right, let's start off with the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detail. Let's hit it. And this stuff is lethal, man, when it comes to beating water. Look at here. When this comes to this stuff, comes to beating water, this stuff is superior, man. Look at it. Now, that's some beads for you right there. All right, so let's come over here to the new finish ceramic coating. Let's see what it does. It's doing good, too. Oh, yeah. hit it with some good water that time because I want to see the true hydrophobic of these two products up against each other. Alright, here's the ceramic coating by New Finish. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, look at those bees, man. Y'all know I do real world stuff. I don't try to be perfect on none of my videos. I just give it to you the way it is. I don't edit it nothing. I say everything I say about videos, though I would never say it. I ain't got nothing to edit. Look at here. Man, is that water beating for your tail? Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's move on here to the McGuire's. All right, to this side. Look at here. Now, this is just a detailer. Doing this, doing good. It ain't quite as tight as the new finish, but I can expect it. But for it being a detail spray versus a ceramic coating, still got to get the props to Meguiar's. Look at here. Look at here. Oh, man. This stuff is amazing over here. Man, that new finish ain't no joke. But, of course, it should be. It's a ceramic coating. The Meguiar's is a ceramic detailer. So, I'm just playing games here. But, for what it is, I still can give it up to Meguiar's. But, it's not. It's truly not. No. Look at the bees on Meguiar's over here. Still can't shake them. Okay, let's go over here to the new finish. Can't hardly shake them still. It's very close to call, but I will say the bees is a little tighter on the new finish side. So, you know, but it's, it's, it's expect. It's a ceramic coating versus a ceramic detailer. So, in this case, I'm going to call it a tie because of what it is. You put a ceramic coating versus a ceramic detailer. But for what I'm seeing, it's not much of a difference. But even though New Finish is the winner, but I'm not going to call it as the winner. Because it's too close. It's so close. And plus it's a detail spray versus a ceramic coating. So that being said, I'm going to rule them a tie. So my ruling is one is just as good as the other, man. But for durability, I probably would give it up to new finish because it's a ceramic coating. But I can tell you guys, I ain't looking for that. I'm looking at how it swells up off the paint the minute I apply. That's what I'm looking for. Two and three and four and five and six months from now, I ain't looking for nothing for that. That's the case. I might not even be around none of y'all either. So that concludes it. Y'all be the judge. I said one is good as the other. I'm out of here. Peace.